All right, folks, the deck is Big Demon Hunter. The goal of the deck is to cheat our big demons into play with things like Sigil of Reckoning and Raging Fell Screamer, bring them back to life with all fell breaks loose so that they can do face damage in the form of either Illidari Inquisitor or Brutal Annihilon. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! It seems my work is not finished. I alone will shield my people. Kind of feel like Forge Fiend is just not great in this deck. When we have things like the Inquisitor to just make our opponents die. Coin Screamer into Screamer into Sigil. Although these will cost four, so maybe instead of Sigil, I just play an Inquisitor and. Hero power. Or where you followed. I could set up a real big bursty turn. Okay, that makes it a little bit less consistent. It's also possible like some objections are in there somewhere that uh, mess with our um, our fell screamers. But better to get them objection than the demons themselves. So it's coin into Omayog for prep, and then we just hit the sigil. Easiest game of my life. of a turn. Yeah, that allows me to test for rig fair game and counter spell. Depending on how much they develop and how big of an emergency I feel like we're in, I might even be able to just go Fell Screamer Hero Power next turn as well. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, I don't know if I can take the risk into again counter spell or rig fair game here. The test for counter next turn at least, and if it's not counter, it blocks the rig fair game. So we know that this one isn't uh, isn't counter spell actually, so that could be the rig fair game. So this test for both. Wow, what's troubling you? It also heals for four next turn, which would be necessary. Cool. This sets up the I beam. while also playing around the rig fair game, which I think we have a decent read that it is now. Your signature is required. Oof. Really needed something better than that off the top. Star Swirly, thank you for the uh, five months. Feels like uh, the left coat most card could be a redundant secret. They've been holding onto it for quite a while. Yeah. 
It'll be our little secret. Probably got a chest for objection now and pray that I hit a bit of healing off the top. It's like healing. Oh my god, it's been explosive trapped this whole time. <laughs> oh god. Dead to Cloud Prince, but it has been getting cut. That could be the second explosive trap here as well. No, looks like it is the rig fair game. Ooh. Played Fell Screen Blast, Unleash Fell. This is just better here, right? Sigil. Amidst the flames, we shall I beam. Not the best order there, but it should take me out of range. Yeah. Very, very, very good draw. Where you followed. But yeah, I think it's highly probable that the the card in hand is a rig fair game and the secret in play is a rig fair game. Lethal. My god, we've done it. It's amazing we're actually queuing into like other dumpster legend players today. That's been a very rare occurrence. Alright, just need to find a demon. Or two. Found one. Time to tick in, tick in abomination is lethal. Some big brain. Warrior hold the odd. It's gonna be very difficult to, uh, for me if they have uh, enough relevant uh, removal, which is likely. Well met. Funny man doing funny things. Uh. Playing a little fast and loose with the uh, the word funny there, but uh, <laughs> thank you for the 14 months, Derek. Hey, Commander. Oh my god. You'll love to see it. Uh, I want to use this on, like, a Inquisitor. Nice. No force on Azeroth can stop me! That was so.
Does location count as a minion for the demon hunter weapon or not? I'm not sure which weapon you mean, but no, the location wouldn't count as a uh, as a weapon. Or two that makes minions into soul spells. Uh, no. Those are kind of annoying. Ruffle, I have something very important to tell you. I'm sure you do, Blue. That often seems to be the case, doesn't it? I, have given up everything. What have you I think they're dead. That was a really good top deck here. My dog said to say hi. Well, I am very sorry I doubted you because that is very important. Death, lend me your power. Wait, this I is a priest? I thought this was a demon hunter. What's this all about? Okay, we got our dreamer into a coin forge fiend potentially. Uh oh. Okay, well. Now I can coin the screamer into another screamer. Welcome, don't need. Dark Wolf, hello. That's alarming. Kill it so they can't copy it, or kill it so that they. or leave it alive so they can't. like. Resummon. I think I'd kill it. Or leave it alive so they can't resummon. That seems like the more likely thing to be doing. Well. Hmm. My stakes were made, okay? Just going for a quick kill with a uh, green rag here, I think. And uh, bringing it back with the. Uh, all fell. Yeah. The race is on. Uh, I could also play this. I don't know if that's necessarily better. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just like never killing that, right? <laughs> Like this, this goes base right now. Oh, let's do that. Uh, if they leave the Inquisitor up, they're dead. But I imagine that's not happening. Hey, welcome, Cobra.
Hey there, gigantic donuts. Okay, please don't kill me. This is not what we stood for. Doesn't seem like it kills me. Not even close. You did your best. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I won. Shamans are unfortunately not great for me. I probably do want to find some early removal. Like, even shaman in general isn't very kind to uh, anything off meta. Okay. Also not terribly great though, because like the freezes, the Flurgle talks, the devolves. We'll do what we can, maybe get a bunch of early game damage, uh, if we can, with, like, Inquisitors. Those seem to be, uh, carrying us at the moment. Inquisitors also work pretty well with the, uh, the Screamer. And the Forge Fiend's just not terribly relevant in this matchup, more than likely. Speaking of something I expect to not be terribly relevant. Why down bad or why isn't in this deck? Uh, it doesn't have immediate impact on the board, so you play it and then you die. Is uh, my experience with the card. So in a very fast metagame like this, it is not a good card usually. Lowering the cost, make it more balanced. I mean, you don't really want to pay full cr cross for it anyway, right? So I don't think it's mana cost unless you completely move it into a silly broken territory. Matters all that much. That's why buffing cards is difficult and tends not to be... Terribly impactful because unless you buff something into brokenness, it doesn't uh, change the card's effect, which is often what's holding it back. There's no need to uh, soul split on this one. They can just like Flurgle Tox to kill it. I would rather do it on something a little bit more aggressive. Off of either the All Fell Breaks Loose or the um, Sigil of Reckoning. Start getting these dead for the uh, Fell. Next turn, I play the Annihilon into the Snowball. Or into the grumble. Probably needs to be the grumble because otherwise they can just shutter walk and essentially have their combo. 
Although the Grumble isn't attacking here. Parrot would be a concern. Kind of does look like Reno, though, which also might be its own problem. Hey, welcome, Spring. Oof. Sixteen plus five, twenty-one, twenty-two. I'm one damage off right now. Wait. The technology. Obviously, the mirror match. The scourge are no match for me. I alone will shield my people. In all seriousness, I've been seeing a lot of Outcast Demon Hunter popping up, so getting some early uh, I beams should be good. And that's also a good pickup if we manage to uh, find a demon, which. I believe we should be able to. Let me work my magic. Okay. Largely as expected. Magical. Not enough time. I'll take five here. Okay, largely fine. Play this. Hopefully find a demon to play this. Nice. mind finding another one, but I'm not going to complain about uh, getting damage roll into face. We tried the omen portrait. Uh, is that the dog? Because if so, I don't have it, because I do not. Why would you play that? I do not purchase portraits. They're just... why though? That's a really, really poor play. Because <laughs> they can just do that same thing next turn and then also draw more cards off of it while getting the 3 damage. There was just like no reason to play the Dispose of Evidence or the turn prior to that, the Twin Slice. Like it's... yeah, they're just... they can play the green card to a whole new level. I hope for the pick commander here. Let me work my magic. My blades are just for show. Oh. I mean, now I do need the Inquisitor. No, because uh, we can kill both of those with the uh, Curtis. So. I have given up everything. What have you sacrificed? Alright. 
Should be lethal next turn, no matter what. We just have the uh, Inquisitor queued up. Yeah, the second Inquisitor. Well. My blood boils for war. <laughs> Gotta maximize damage because the opponent sure wasn't. Uh, not the mages. You asked for it. I alone will shield my people. Keep this, and we probably need a demon to uh, sigil into. David, hello. Leftmost card was kept. Uh, Quest Mage is going to be a bit of a difficult matchup for this deck, but we'll do our best. It'll be our okay. secret. Uh, we pretty much get to block the. Um, Bring fair game until the sigil turn. I want to try and save this for turn four, so that I can test uh, the sigil ahead of time. It'll be our little secret. Three is kind of like four, I guess. Okay, I have this as a test now, so. Not as big of a deal. As long as we don't see new secrets. An incredible That's a bummer. I think I still just have to hold here. If this secret comes down, there's a decent chance at it being counterspell. And so I just might have to take the turn to burn the uh, philosophy. Okay, the secret's not coming down, it looks like. Yes, it is. Alright. Seems probable that one of those is a uh, counterspell, unfortunately. But it was not. Might be a bit of a problem. Ugh, that's a huge problem, because now that is almost certainly a counterspell, so I'm probably just getting this counterspelled. Or not. Okay, that gives me a good play into the uh, Curtis, or I could just like soul split a big demon. Either way, we do get to continue blocking the fair game. see what we hit, but it kind of seems like it might need to be, yeah, especially with that, it's just got to be uh, Curtis here. I have given up everything. What have you sacrificed? Sure. There's no time to try and eke out value, we're just trying to survive. Also got 24 damage with the uh, Illidari next turn. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, it can't be counterspell, right? Well 
met. Yes, I love big deeds. Ooh. Watch your back. I alone will shield my people. Fell screen blast seems a little more important than the unleash fell in the early game against Pirate Rogue, and then just try and push the I beam over. Look to coin out the sigil of reckoning because it's already so slow. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Yeah. Is this worth a fell scream? Sure. Yeah. That's the reason I considered holding it. That's kind of bad for me, no matter what. Guess we just kill it anyway. It kills for three. Uh, even if they have like a zero mana 3-3, three, three, whether it's the Corsair or the Demon, we have just a full cost I-Beam. It seems... Sure. It seems worse than the weapon here, doesn't it? Emo Aura looking pretty good as like cleanup after the uh, the sigil, but we also just have the soul split to um, to copy the Illidari and why why aren't you playing the weapon? Is this not just it has to be right? There's no situation where you don't just play the weapon here. Isn't there? It's also a good copy effect for the uh, soul split. It may be a better hit in general. Maybe it's just the mana efficient play, but it's like the less damage efficient play, which is like, I, I feel like what they want. I'd love to see how the Brutal performs here, but we get a lot of damage if it's the uh, Inquisitor, so either outcome is just honestly quite good. Okay, well now the previous turn makes even less sense. Good luck with these. Feed the fish, land lover. Oh, that's a sweet interaction. <laughs> totally planned as part of my brilliant deck building here. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Cathandrian, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 